Well, Gaffer, you, you talked about wanting your lads to be um, a little bit more expressive and to be a little bit braver going forward last night. Do you think you got that? This yeah, evening? you know, I was delighted with the with the first half performance and the second half. You know, the, the second half obviously uh, eight or nine trialists and they, they, you know, they expressed themselves. They were great. And first half, you know, the tempo we played at, you know, I couldn't be many more happier, really. And you have to say, in fairness, like on the face of it, the first couple of goals, certainly the second one, maybe against the run of play as well. Yeah, but I mean, you know, they're top class performers, and you know, that's why they're, they're the best, best, one of the best teams in the championship. And um, it's just a great experience for our boys to go out there and play and, you know, and get fit, because at the end of the day, the, the six weeks is to get fit and ready for that first game of the season. In terms of how the lads created going forward, did it please you that just like last season, although it is very early, it looks like you've got those creative outlets all over the pitch? Yeah, well, the, the lads work very hard, at it, you know, and, um, you know, two and a half weeks in, they had a really, really tough uh, game last night against a, a, a great team in Derby. And, you know, today they, I think they were a bit annoyed with the performance last night and uh, they certainly went out and expressed themselves and, and it was great. You talked about the fitness work. Are you impressed with how that's showing at the moment in the sense that obviously huge gap between the two teams in terms of divisions but the lads didn't look like they were out of it fitness wise. They stood up well to that test. No, but you know, these boys, I think Villa got back from a, a, a trip yesterday, you know, so they're going to be a little bit more, more fatigued possibly. And, you know, I'm not worried about that. You know, I was really pleased with our, our uh, lads' efforts and, and desire and attitude, and, and that's all I asked for. Pre season takes on a, a little bit of a different twist now with regards to Starport Reading, those types of games. That was always the nature of the programme of matches, but different kinds of tests for you now. Yeah, definitely. And, you know, we're, we're, we approach every game the same, and, and as I said, it's just about getting fit and uh, you know it's about not getting any injuries and tonight we've come through without any injuries yesterday we've come through without any injuries and you know hopefully we can have a, a, a good workout saturday and come through with no injuries and dan nt one play you've not had a chance to look at in a match situation is his injury anything too serious no no he'll be back uh, training at the start of next week i think which will be a great boost because he came back the first week in pre-season he looked very sharp um, you know, so we want to get him back as soon as we can, and um, you know, I think he's the only one missing at the moment. And just with regards to those trials, I know you're looking to add to your squad, but I suppose the more that go out there and press, the, the, the more difficult it makes your job. I suppose. Yeah, which to is what we want. Him. You know, which is what we want. The trials were unbelievable tonight. You know, the performance levels, the energy levels, and I think it does help when they're playing against top players, and you know, they, they certainly raise their game, and you know, they should all be very proud of themselves.